I'm with Richard Edwards at uh, a Your Square Mile event where Richard was uh, telling us about the participatory budgeting um, program in Manton. And um, then we got talking about how communities doing different innovative, imaginative things around the country might share experience. But first of all, tell me a bit about your experience in Manton. You were very early into participatory budgeting. Yes, we were. Yeah, I think we were one of the first in the country to use it because it's an idea that came from Brazil and we researched it back in 2005 six to see how we could fit it into the UK system here. And it's been very successful. It's been successful because a lot of people have come and voted. One in four people live on months and voted last time in 2010. And also, it's been a great tool to show people that getting involved leads to changes that they want to see. I'll give you a very basic example, for instance, about people wanting more bins. You walk around Manton now and you see the bins there and on them is a little badge saying you voted for this through PB, through participatory budgeting, you've caused this to happen. So there's a sense of ownership it creates to people when they walk past the bin and say I voted for that and that's there. Very powerful. And how has that worked in practice? How did people get to vote? Uh, the voting was done a bit differently in, in our state in that we just didn't have one meeting. Uh, so we've used different ways of engaging with people, door-to-door, -door, Facebook, Internet, uh, also getting people together in small groups, a whole array of different things. The key thing is, you have to fit your engagement method with people's lifestyle. If you don't do that, they're not going to turn out, they're not going to play, they're not going to take part. And so we've been very careful to tailor-make our approach to individuals uh, and, and their lifestyle. And because of that, we had a huge response of people taking part. And uh, I mean, that's what's known as participatory uh, yeah. democracy, which is um, a bit different uh, from the usual form of uh, vote for your council or whatever every three or four years and, and that's it. Is there a tension between the two? I think there is a tension, but there needn't be a tension. I think participatory democracy is a component of a vibrant electoral democracy. It brings a lot to it. And also, on a practical level, there's people in Manton who have never voted before, took part in, in a PB exercise, and now are voting at local elections. That's got to be a good thing. And has this helped uh, people get to know each other better? Is there a stronger sense of community? and overall involvement, not just on the budgeting side? We've gone from virtually no involvement of local people to having 62% of people engaged in the area in some way. So, and PB has been a major part of that, but there have been other things that we've done. So yet people feel more ownership because they're making the decisions. Local people want to be decision makers about what affects them, their neighbours, their kids. And they're very able to do that in a very professional way. So although this is uh, probably encouraging a lot more engagement, volunteering and so on, to keep the process going does involve people like you working on it. And I gather that the funds for that uh, may be running out. Well, we were scheduled to run for seven years and that runs out on the 31st of uh, December this year. So that's New Year's Eve and that's when the project uh, will, will finish. Uh, obviously we don't want to do that because we're very concerned that some of the things we value and the local people value might well be lost. Uh, do you think that uh, your square mile um, might be able to help find you more resources and help other communities around the country find more resources? I think there's two things. Your square mile, for instance, is only an opportunity for Manton people through me to take part today. That wouldn't happen without your square mile. So I think that's really, really uh, a helpful hand, uh, uh, you know, having met some people uh, locally. And um, ah, we've got uh, a little bit of drumming coming in here, but yeah. we'll work over that. But um, also I think your square mile could be infrastructure to help us to do other things. 